a sad picture of four children looking after their bedridden mother. This family has no food, no proper furniture, and does not have a soap to wash their school uniform. The 29-year-old mother, who has no identity document, has no form of income, and her children also have no birth certificate to access social grants. Their situation was discovered by a school teacher. When you say Kunga, the Wabandana is called, but Celebe Corner is calling Mans Baba. I noticed that these kids are no longer coming to school. Even when they come, they are always clumsy and dirty. So I had to delegate two class teachers to go and find out what was the problem. We were very shocked because when we engaged the 13 year old learner, she just cried, telling us that the reason for not attending. It's because their mother is very sick and they are forced not to go to school. The school teacher brought this family situation to the attention of those who are able to assist. Now the health department has intervened and is assisting the sick mother. It was not for these teachers who went uh, an extra mile beyond the call of duty, not to only look at the kids and when they're not at school, and continue with those who are in class to be worried and go and look for them when they were not coming to school in the third term. It's something that is amazing. And we are saying we want more teachers like this because if then they are dealing with kids every day, they're the ones who must shout to us. The Kalash family is also getting assistance from various departments and businesses. The mother of four is grateful that government and the private sector are able to assist. I must thank the teachers and my uncle who allowed God to speak through them. The teachers that saw my kids that are not similar to other children. I moved from my original village to this village and now my situation is receiving attention from the villagers, teachers and government department. I'm very happy. It is unfortunate, uh, but we are happy that it has been brought to our attention uh, to show that uh, it's something that uh, could have been avoided. Uh, and we are happy that at least uh, government from uh, all spheres, in particular the provincial government and the local government, including the district. Uh, after uh, I brought this to the attention uh, of the executive mayor of the district and the local mayor. Private sector called for intervention to help out needy families. I believe that children are our future and it takes a village to raise a child. So when we received the request from the MEC of Health, we then um, thought that it will be very important for us to play a role in in actually contributing poverty remains a major challenge in the country recently another mother committed a suicide murder killing her three children before taking her own life another case that was attributed to poverty promises have been made to rope in other departments to offer more assistance to the Kalash family. Kurule Gunyembe, ZSAPC News, Ndabangulu.